Now I'm going to split this particular episode into two parts. And on this part, if you are wondering what are we talking about, we're going to be talking about the deception that was pulled over a lot of people, particularly about the ZCC Church. This is part number one. And we're going to be reading the last message of one of the bishops of ZCC, as you can see here. Now, the importance of these two videos is to highlight that the foundation of the church this particular church were already in the wrong that by so doing we hope that people will understand the places where the error started so that they can detect now as i stated that we're going to be reading one of his messages one of the messages that he preached last actually as a matter of fact if you actually look at the heading of thingy it actually says that uh, the bishop's last message and i think this is um bishop Engenasi, like i think it's the first one or something uh, if you actually look at uh the message uh, it actually does show his name right at the bottom it says muruti Engenasi b lahanyan and i think that's barnabas lahanyan which would be the first one and so this video is quite important i may say uh, but we're going to be looking at the message. So let's focus on that first. The reason why I think uh, it's important we look at the message on what he was preaching is that it would help those that are still in confusion, particularly about what exactly is the intentions of this message, is to show the deception so that it may lift itself from your eyes. It's the actuality show, the daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over here, do be sure to check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments. And part number two will be uh, right out after this one. I will not delay this particular two parts. Uh, it, it is mainly the, the foundation message of the church on this particular episode. On the second episode, we'll show the, the, the propagate, propagated, the message that they are spreading. <laughs> <laughs> he will show the message that they are spreading. And so, on this one, let's focus first on the last message of uh, Barnabas Lehanyan. And you will see the hints of falsehood according to the Bible. And then on the second one, we'll look at what message then are they preaching. This is very, very key. Do share it with those that are following this church, that are still in deception, those that are not clear, uh, the intentions that we have here so that you may understand what the Bible requires from both me and you. My name is Ricky. Uh, uh, those that watch this channel know me as Alule. And uh, in short, you can just call me Alule. <laughs> you know? okay. as, as Brother Mabucho Ocho always says, you know, when, when, when Ricky appears in the Incas, and so let's look at what exactly does this message say. Please do keep note of the things that have been mentioned and then let's follow along. Says the bishop's last message to his people. Mm, that's, that's an interesting one. To his people. That's a very interesting one. Okay. Remember, the Bible says, watch over the flock which God has put you in charge of. The Bible says we are to watch over the people that he has given to. They are not your people. They are his. The Bible says that he, the flock that he died with his, so already we are hearing something else here. Now, let's, as we go on in the message, what does the message then go on to say? My people, my friends, uh, Almighty God, the God of our fathers, it doesn't even say here who this God is. It just says Almighty God. I mean, like we know is Yahweh, what not. Maybe that's who he's talking about, right? All right. He says, the God of our fathers. Okay? Now, remember, this is, has been accused of being involved in ancestral worship. So I think it doesn't do them solid to, to reference it like that. The God of our fathers has cared for us throughout all these years into the until this day right he says to him be glory honor majesty and power uh, world without end okay amen and he says uh, yesterday i went to the mountain as usual to pray okay so the mountain of the church i'm guessing he says um as i looked from 
there and I saw these crowds from far and near coming by buses, cars and trucks uh, and on foot. My heart was touched. He says, they came with eager faces and hearts. They were willing to get something when they, where they were going. He says, uh, what have this multitude seen? Uh, what have they seen? The, that question came to me yesterday, and I ask you today. And so the, the question of what brought them to this church or what was bringing them to the mountain, because this church, this mountain is the church, that church. Um, so as he saw them coming, this question leads in his mind because it's the same question he would ask them, right? What message have they seen in this church that they are following, uh, it says. He says, uh, what have you seen? Okay. Blessed are, are you if it is the star of the East, which is Jesus Christ, that you have seen. Now, on part number two, we will extend this line. Okay. On part number two, we will extend that line because that line goes to the message that they preach. Okay? Blessed are you who have seen the star. Okay. Now, you might think, oh, it's only the star Jesus. No, no, no. They mean their own star. Their own star. Yes, I'm carry they were in a lady there. They mean their star. Now, we'll come back to that. <laughs> Remember morning star. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. So, blessed are you who have seen this, uh, 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 the star of the East, which is Jesus Christ that you have seen. Okay. Now, he says Jesus. So, Okay. We're getting somewhere. We are getting Jesus. Let's continue reading. So the person you've seen or what you have seen is Jesus Christ. Okay. 2,000 years ago, certain men saw a star which led, uh, which led them to Bethlehem. The star of the east. Okay. It is. Is it led them to a humble stable where they found a baby, and that baby became the Prince of Peace. He didn't became he didn't become the Prince of Peace. He was theology, but it's okay. Maybe it's just an error, right? He he was the Prince of Peace. He doesn't become it. He was, and so this idea can filter into this whole idea of them appointing a new bishop, and that bishop becomes. You know, the prince of... No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. He was. Now, it's fine. Let's continue. That's not the main point, okay? We haven't gotten to the main point yet. He says, And this man who followed the star were called wise. So, now it comes back to you. What have you seen? Uh, he says, The wise men from the east, blessed are you if you have seen the star which has led you here. Now it comes to the present. Now remember, when he places the star above there, he places Jesus next to it. Right? And so, blessed are you who have seen the star of the east, which is, the, which is Jesus that you have seen. So now, blessed are you who have seen the star, and it led you to me. You make of that what you make of it. Interesting. I thought this was interesting. No, this message was very clear. <laughs> this message was very clear. <laughs> this message was very clear. All right, then he goes on to say, there are many in those days, in, in, in those days, many, many, many years, who did not see the star of hope, okay? Jesus, back then. But those who saw it were called wise. Amongst those are simple folks, shepherds, who were shepherding their flock, and they saw the star. While many slept and were blind in the in their worries and businesses, they learned uh, they they learned arguments. This is not the first time uh, that wise people have seen the star. So this is not the first time that they've seen the star. Now there is a star. <laughs> there, is star there is a star at point. Basically, you're getting the idea here. Okay. And as I've stated, it will be feathered in the message, in the second video, in the second video where we highlight the message that they preach. Now, 
I'm going to open up for it here so that we can continue this message like this, right? So they have seen the message, da, 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 da. This is a great day for you. You who's a man, banker. This is a great day. For a star is shining again in the star, in, in the sky. He's making himself a typology of Christ. He's making himself almost like the Messiah. All right. And the people who were in darkness, you who was stuck in witchcraft and whatnot, and you needed uh, some form of help, have seen the light. So he's referencing thing. And then he says in 1910, when the church, ZCC, started, was a great year. So that was a great day. And 1910, the time when we started the church, it was a great year. Are you seeing it? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue, Razala. And what does it then go on to say? Today, we have a great... Um, no, no, no. We, you remember that the, uh, the year, ta -ta -ta -ta, he makes example of South Africa, what, 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 is separated. And he says, today we have a great uh, and united country, talking about South Africa, and the Republic of South Africa, which is one of the greatest uh, in the world, powerful, strong, prosperous. Uh, but here is a mir miracle of God, their church. Okay? That's the miracle. <laughs> okay? Their church is the miracle. He says, when all these things were happening in, a, in the political field, God gave a, a great vision to one man, one star. Right? His servant, our late father of blessed memory and the founder of this of the of the church uh, and then we go back to the top of this page so we can see the rest of the message and it says god whispered in his ear and he listened like someone listened like someone of old he said lord speak for thy servant hakeneth God spoke to him and he obeyed and became uh, like Abraham of old, a father of multitude. He ties in Samuel the prophet, he ties in Abraham with the multitude blessing. Samuel had Abraham had all these children. So he's equating himself. First he equated himself to Jesus. Now you get you get the idea. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. This is the last message that he had. So, and uh, a father of multitude, according to God's promise. God made him a promise and Abraham, be, uh, beca because he was faithful, God uh, fulfilled his promise. He gave him a heir where he and his wife were past uh, the age of, uh, to, of conceiving, made him an offspring of multitude, including us, as of the promise. In those last days, in this last day, in these last days, now he's talking about things. Mm, interesting. Let's jump over here. In these last days, uh, I want it to be full screen so that uh, you can see it properly. So that was what happened with Abraham. Okay. He got, he was given a promise and so forth. But in these last days, right at the top, in these last days, God made him a promise to, uh, God made his promise to my father. He directly links it to the ZCC church. He links the promise of Abraham, that that promise extended to the leader of ZCC. And what was the promise? This is where the first line of deception starts, right? Made him a promise. And the, uh, because he, he was faithful, his father, God fulfilled his promise and his children, you and I, you and me, the faithful son, uh, sons in God, will be a nation as many as the sand. So basically, he is saying the multitudes 
were a promise to God. Um, my bad if I wasn't showing you that part. So the multitude that you see there is a fulfillment. The multitude of 10 million people was a fulfillment of a promise that was made to the leader of the church. Bazalwani, I've warned about this thing when we were talking about IPHC. When IPHC said that, it was a heresy. God, it is Jesus that inherits the church. The Bible says that. So how are we promised to you when we are a promise to Jesus? He says God has given him a, a name that is far above every other name. This, this is a huge error. And you'll remember when uh, Fredericks, right? Modise, the leader of the IPHC, when he started the church, he says that's exactly the promise that was made to him. So the promise that is made to the ZCC leader is the promise that is made to promise of multitude. Why will he promise you multitude when the multitudes are his? Anyways, let's continue. Anker, let, let's do what? Let's continue. Let's go over here. I wanted you to see that in full view. Scary. <laughs> How is he promising you what is his? Right. Let's go on here. He says, uh, that is the promise that he was given. He says, today I and you are a part of a miracle uh, of God's promise. And if you, were fa if you are faithful, greater things will uh, will. Let me get in a little bit so that you can you can have a little bit more view of it. Man. Right. It says, if you are faithful, greater things will he will yet uh, come to us. For faith uh, for faithful is he that promised those things. Make it sound like the Bible, right? He says, my people, my friends, I've said we have addressed this part. But to keep on I hope I don't have to repeat that. He says, On this day, when I am being installed bishop of the of the great church of the great uh, thing, why do they say it's the last is the last message if it's if it think? But anyways, that's what they named it. On this on this uh on this day when I am installed bishop of this great church, ah, in in the foot in the foot in the in the footsteps of my father and other saints uh, throughout history, my heart is filled with joy, uh, pride, and humility. It's, uh, it goes on to say, because you and I, under God, have kept the faith. Of our fathers, uh, never mind that that part. Uh, keeping of the faith of the it's a kind of a reference when you look back into the Bible that was referencing the doctrine of the apostles. So, does the Doxy doctrine align with the doctrine of the apostles? No. Okay. Let's continue. He says he's proud of this particular thing because of the faith of. He says his church has grown. Remember, my people, Anka. So his church has grown. Let the name of our of our Lord be praised. Who is he? <laughs> I have that question. Without your faithfulness, my people, the miracle that are, are, are happening today would not have happened. All these years since my father's death, we have struggled through difficulties till we won a recognition of the government. Okay? That's what this one goes to say. It says, I want you to stand with me today in, pr in, 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 in proud thanksgiving for what the Lord has done uh, for his people. You have run the race you have fought the good fight and to and tomorrow's blessings will await for you 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 so lena 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 okay then it goes on remember 
he's aligning the message with the ZCC church, right? He says, many who despised us are opening their eyes today, okay, in admiration. We honor God and his son, Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. We respect the, the man God has chosen to rule over us. The chiefs and the government, we, uh, we follow the light of the truth as we see it and keep uh, the faith. So we follow the light as we, as we see it. Interesting. As we see it. Interesting. <laughs> As the true children of Africa. Do you see where the problem is? There's another uh, thing there. Because that's, that is where you are seeing now pan-African teachings of or traditional teachings were part of the church of ZCC. There. We are noticing it as as children as, as Africans. Why do I need why do you need that? Okay? As true children of Africa, which God loves, which uh, which sheltered which uh, sheltered Christ and was with him when uh, Simeon of what what an African uh, carried the cross. Which Jesus Christ in uh, with Jesus Christ in humility, we are sure God means us to uh, means us to serve Him and bring peace in the world, following the Prince of Peace. Okay, and so that's where the message uh, cuts, and then I guess it goes to the second page, and in the second page, what does the message say? Right, this is the part where this is the picture, the one where which has the uh, his picture there. It says, "Let us rejoice on this day uh, of our elevation. Let us accept the promise of God. Uh, remember the promise of the the Naledi. Ne? It becomes clearer in the second one. Keep the uh, the peace and the friendship." of the men of goodwill, the government and the people of all races and, uh, and background. It is interesting. Do you see? Ancestral worship. Yeah, keep the goodwill, what, 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 what. Yeah, keep the friendship. You, you get it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is my hope that at, uh, at the end of this conference, you will depart in peace and will, uh, will, uh, with God's blessing from a great day that you will live with our light uh, kindled following the star of hope. Remember, thank you. Mm -hmm. In these days, that uh, many are worried and confused. My, uh, the good Lord, the good Lord, Almighty God, keep you and bless you, your house and your children. Keep the vision you have seen this day. Okay, so the vision, you understand. Keep the faith, even though it might mix with African cultures and whatnot. Tell it out on the mountains and your and your homes and place of work. You are a chosen people. You are a, you are of course they're not gonna go to the part of holy priesthood, no, because <laughs> then it would dismiss having the bishop over over them. Okay, you are uh, be he eleven. Of good in the nation. Okay, how beautiful upon how, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of those of him that bringeth good tidings. And he says, "May God bless you all." Amen. So there, I guess they are quoting 
is it Isaiah 52? And uh, for Isaiah 52 says, how beautiful uh, on the mountain are the feet of those that bring the good news. Good news being, we are very clear in the New Testament, it is the salvation message of the cross. Jesus has no cross, okay? Just, just so that we are clear there. Jesus has no cross, it doesn't represent the cross. They have a naledi, banali naledi. And we are clear here that the naledi is a representation of what? Of the one that they have seen on that mountain. So the message that ZCC leads to the bishop, not to Christ. There's no cross here. No blood of Jesus. No Bible. There's no Bible. We notice that there is no Bible. It's only thing. He says, proclaim salvation. Who say, uh, who say unto thee, and you, you God reign. Listen, your, watch, your watchmen lift up your voices together. They shout with joy. For your, our eyes will lift, uh, will see when the Lord returns on Zion. So you see, if you end the verse, you'll see what they're trying to make reference of. You see, when you finish the Isaiah 52, the one they are seeing on the mountain, remember he says that uh, in, the, in the first part of this message, he says he went to the mountain where he was going to pray. And he says when he was going to pray, he saw the multitudes coming to him, coming to this church. And he asked, what is it that they have seen? What have you seen? What have you seen on that mountain where you are going? The message here is directing the people to the bishop being their savior. It's antichrist. The message makes it antichrist. He takes the analogies in the Bible and he makes them about him. Now in part number two then, you'll see how they are now preaching this message. Have they deviated? Are they slightly or maybe otherwise or what is going on? It's the Rikshu Yared Show with the Daily Christian Commentary videos. This year is a, it's a huge deception because it makes people focus on the person. It doesn't focus on God. It doesn't focus on, uh, it doesn't focus on the Messiah. No, 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 no. It focuses people's eyes on the bishop of the church. Huge deception. Because the question you are being asked is, what have you seen when you came to the mountain? You saw him, Anker. Mm -hmm. He says, him, like the same way you saw the, they saw the star, you have seen this day a star at Boink. He's, that's Antichrist. He's a replacement. He is the vicar. He's the same thing as the Roman Catholics here. So how then do they listen to him? That's the second part we're going to be dealing with. It's a reality show with daily Christian commentary videos. The last message, this message, which they have termed the last message, it shows you the message's goal or the church's goal, this one, is to drive people towards the bishop, not the Bible.